Dude, we literally have the entire HRE in a coalition against us. <laughs> Help me. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Cleves. Cleves is a nation located in the HRE, a one province minor surrounded by a couple of electors and a couple of free cities and the Burgundian subjects up here. So expansion is literally almost impossible right at the start. We start off with this 242 guy, not that bad, and Cleves actually has has some pretty good national ideas. We start off with plus 10% production and tax. We got minus 10% idea cost. That's pretty excellent. Fort defense is pretty good. We got some church stuff over here, some Diplo stuff, three Diplo ideas, Diplo rep, Diplo annex discounts, Diplo tech discount, and national garrison growth. So Cleves is sort of meant to be played defensively and diplomatically. But like I said, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty difficult start. But what do we do as Cleves? Well, there's an achievement in U4 called electable, which requires you to start as a that's not an elector and become an elector. Now, I already have that achievement, but I did it with Cleves. And the way you do it is basically you full annex an elector and hope that Austria likes you enough to give you the electorship. Now, since I already have that achievement and since it would be too easy to do for an A to Z challenge, why not, as Cleves today, annex every elector? That's right, everyone. For today's challenge, as this tiny little one province miner over here, our goal is gonna be to make every elector in the HRE not exist. So let's jump in as Cleves here and hopefully you can learn something new about playing in the HRE. Just like you can learn a new language thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Babbel. Babbel is the world's first language learning app and with its intuitive lessons that focus on learning through real-life conversations, it's no wonder that Babbel has over 10 million subscriptions sold. Babbel focuses on short 10-minute interactive lessons, so no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to pick up a few words and phrases every day. The lessons are designed by actual real language teachers and there's lots of ways to learn like through games, podcasts, videos, and even live classes. With summer just around the corner, I'm sure lots of you guys are planning a trip to another country, so why not pick up a few phrases that'll help you have an even nicer time on vacation. Personally, I'm going to Italy this summer, so I've been practicing my Italian these past few weeks. La cena. La cena. Il calcio. Il calcio. La cosa. La cosa. Il cane. Il cane. So, click the link in the description and get 65% off on your subscription today. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump in as Cleves. All right, all right, here we are as Cleves. Like I said, a very difficult starting position. Let's take a look at our force limit. It is seven, all right. We are a regular type of monarchy. First, let me start off by uh, doing some estate stuff, finding some allies, and I think our first nation that we're gonna be declaring on is Köln and taking this province from them so later we can push into Trier, Mainz, and the Palatinate down here. These are the electors, if you guys don't know. So it's Brandenburg, Saxony, Bohemia, the big boys over here, and then we got the smaller boys, which are Köln, Trier, Mines and the Palatinate, and our goal is gonna be to make every one of them not exist. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Now let's take a look at if any nations will ally us. And yes, some nations will ally us, but all of these guys suck. All right, let's get at least Nassau over here. We could link up with them and maybe with Magdeburg too. Right, right, I can't do royal marriages or they can't do royal marriages. Either way, let's get some rivals too. Obviously, Colm, since we're going to be fighting them first. And uh, hmm, let's see right here. Maybe Gelray too. What about um Dortmund? Why not? Why not? Let me see if I can get some advisors. Oh yeah, let's get this Diplorep guy. Maybe he'll help us do some more allying and stuff like that can we oh my god yes we might be able to link up with austria here boys that will be very very good and we do have a free merchant one guy's in the rhineland the other guy maybe he can collect in the english channel right here also bye bye horse the classic opening for any hre nation and let's get three more regiments right here and let's see our ruler and heir hmm, this guy is kind of old so yeah i'll just hire a regular general do we have any unique missions ask Cleves? we actually do uh they're the generic westphalian missions but that's fine better than nothing and uh i'll also start off by spying on Köln, and we'll see where we'll go from there boys and my dude immediately died <laughs> and there we go i improved with austria enough to be able to ally them that's awesome so at least we linked up with the emperor here and i also allied brunswick too my uh spy guy got kicked out of 
Cone, and they have a level 3 port, which is gonna be impossible, so maybe Berg will be our first fight here, and we can uh, then push into Trier and the other guys down here. Alright, alright, I've been currying favors with some of my boys, these are my alliances right now, and they will help me out fight Berg, so it should be easy enough over here, I'm gonna call in Brunswick and Nassau, and we should be easily able to deal with Berg and uh, Frankfurt. So let's get it, our first war, 6 years into the game, but hey, like I said, the start is pretty difficult, I don't know what we would do without Curry favors, dude. Now, I can also call in the Paladinate here, and that's actually really good because they're also allied to Trier, the next nation I want to fight. So I will call in the Paladinate in this war, but wait, how am I going to declare on Trier? Okay, maybe that was stupid. <laughs> All right, this war is done. Uh, there was no need to clone the planet, of course. And uh, I'm only going to take the province of Berg right here. I would maybe vassalize them and stuff like that. But I really want to minimize aggressive expansion because we're going to be going hard on all of these guys over here. So yeah, man, just Berg and I'm going to take money, war reps, transfer trade power. They're not my rivals, so I can't humiliate them. Maybe I'm going to make them end an alliance here. Boom. There we go. We've expanded slightly. Let's claim this. I already had a spine work going and uh, I'll start spying on Colin too, I guess. I'm also going to tell both of my merchants right off the bat to establish communities that'll help us with improving relations and getting coalitions down hopefully i can hire a improved relations guy but i don't have one right now i don't have any advisors right now but i can pay off loans right now would you look at that it's already time to strengthen noble privileges ah all right, second war time, and now it's gonna be versus Koln. They have a mothballed fort, so we'll catch them with a little less defenders right here, just a thousand instead of three thousand, since it is a level three fort. And I think uh, my boys should help me out in this war, maybe not all of them, but yeah, we can call in Milan, the Palatine, and Brunswick. I've also allied uh, the Pope, by the way. I think I am gonna be staying Catholic, so this is gonna be uh, more difficult than Berg, but uh, let's get it, baby. All, everyone I'm fighting has a level three fort. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, wait, won't the electors get replaced by some other nations? when you destroy them? Yes, yes, they will get replaced. Our goal is to destroy the original seven electors. So these guys right here, if they get replaced, we don't care who they get replaced with. And there we go, boys. Honestly, a super easy war. Just annoying because of all the forts. How long did it last? All right, three years. Not that bad. Thank you, allies. But let's see what we can do with Colin here, man. All right, that's one province right there. Oof, just 21 AE from that one province. And oh, we can actually full annex them. <laughs> we can actually full annex them very, very easily. Let's also take all their money. And that's pretty much it. Boom, baby. There we go. One elector down. As we can see, six electors right now. Austria does like me, but I think we're too big to become an elector ourselves. Usually, they don't give an electorship to nations bigger than about three provinces. Ah, well, Burgundy warned me. That means I can't fight Trier. <laughs> No! Oh my god, why Burgundy? Why do you want to get involved in my politics, man? Oh, I can't wait for the Burgundian succession. You guys are gonna stop existing, you fools. Well, Brandenburg's allied to Poland and Bohemia's allied to Muscovy, so that's gonna be fun later. Who's Saxony allied to? No one, okay. And Austria gave the electorship to Ferrara. But listen, the genius of my diplomacy and politics knows no bounds. I broke my alliance with Brunswick here, and I've allied Brandenburg. Now I'm gonna use Brandenburg to help me beat up Brunswick so I can get a border with them and Saxony and then I'm gonna use Brandenburg to help me beat up Saxony and then I'm gonna make them break their alliance with Poland by currying favors. Genius. All right, it is time for our first idea group. There's only one choice here, boys. I need 50 more diplomats. Two is not enough. So of course, we're gonna be opening up with diplomatic ideas. Playing in the HRE and not picking this idea group would be insane. I need these guys and this thing to reduce coalitions. The Diplo rep is awesome too. Province war score cost will enable us to take more. And yeah, man, we gotta go with Diplo here. So mines expanded quite a lot. They just fought Nassau and Hesse and took these two provinces. <laughs> That's not good for me because, well, I'm gonna have to take it from them. And there's no way we can do it in one war, man. Look at the dev of these provinces. Now at least I can spy for this one too. Or not, Austria, I guess, made them pop out Nassau. So that's great. <laughs> Two guys are voting for me. <laughs> and I'm about to fight mine. So no, they like me so much. <laughs> but that's awesome because we get a fourth diplomat. Hell yeah, baby. Let's improve with outraged countries even more. Bruh. But wait, now Burgundy's my boy because I'm allied to Milan. <laughs> Milan got it, dude. Oh my god. Yo, we gotta pounce on Trier here, man, while we have the opportunity. Uh, yeah. Oh, Burgundy, Burgundy. How the mighty have fallen, man. From warning me, from preventing me to fighting Trier, to helping me fight Trier. I love it. I love it. And with this, I'm helping Milan by not allowing Burgundy to break free from them. And this is awesome too, so Austria will ask Milan to pop out some guys over here, which is great. Burgundy will be weaker like that. And it did happen. Milan did accept, so now we have uh, this province going to Nevers. Hainaut popped out, Flanders, and Brabant also popped out. 
<laughs> you fools, that's what you get for warning me. And that's done, man. Easy. I just white pieced mines and I made the Palatinate break their alliance with Austria. So let's see if we can fall next year without a coalition. Of course we can, baby. Of course we can. We're going to become a diplomacy powerhouse here, boys. Second elector down, baby. You know what it is. I wonder who the electorship will go to next. I think Trent. Or no, it'll probably be an Austrian ally. Uh... Maybe Landshut or Baden. Oh, no. Fine, I'll fight France, dude. We should win here, right? We got Aragon in Austria. Okay, boys, my truce with mines is up, and I do think it's time to get a move on because A isn't too high. So, let's declare our mines here, and I think I'm going to take these two from them and make them give this back to Hesse. That way, I won't get too much AE. So, let's declare on them. None of my boys will help me, but we don't really need their help anymore. So, let's declare for mines. Okay, so even though Milan has Burgundy, I feel like uh, it's gonna be a big problem if we stay allied to them, so uh, let's get rid of Milan. So Austria wants me to put a Habsburg on my throne, which I will do. Oh, 553, not bad, not bad. Bro, my Habsburg died. That sucks. All right, boom, that's done. Quite a long war because it was just me, but let's try and do this. So let's make uh, them return Oberhessen to Hesse. And can I do this? Oh, that's a lot less AE than I thought it would be. So goodbye, Mainz. Third elector down. Yeah, baby. You know what it is. All right, we've taken care of the three easiest guys. Now, the Palatine is sort of in the middle. And uh, after that, it's Saxony. Bohemia is the strongest, dude. They're still allied to Muscovy, man. Brandenburg are still allied to Poland. So yeah, now I think I'm going to take this from Brunswick so I can push into Saxony and their subject Thuringia. And I'm feeling that my army is pretty weak, so for my second idea group here, I will be taking offensive. Dude, Milan inherited Burgundy, man, and now they're getting dunked on by France. Aw, oh, poor Milan. Yeah, good thing I got out of that alliance. I wonder if I should make Milan end their uh, alliance with Poland here, man. Let's uh, try and do it. Will they re each other? I really don't know. I like to call this the old switcheroo. <laughs> No, I'm allied to Poland. All right, let's hit Brunswick here for this province. Uh, they do have a lot of allies, but I think it should be enough. Me, Brandenburg, and Holland. Yeah, this is going to be easy. By the way, if you're wondering, the three new electors are Ferrara, Augsburg, and Baden. And boom, easy enough, man. Now I wonder, should I take this province and then break my lance with Brandenburg and push into them because I've linked up with Poland now? Or should I take this province and then push into Saxony? I will have to also fight Thuringia like that. And um, I think this right here, is gonna be the better choice so yeah let me take some money and war apps and trade power from brunswick too and that's it boom there we go and here's a little lesson in trickery we're gonna dissolve our alliance with brandenburg and while well, i would rival them but uh i don't think i'm eligible for new rivals and we can take a mission build buildings i will build buildings and i'll core that up and i'll start spying on brandenburg and now i've allied saxony these fools they're not learning anything don't you know i ally you before i destroy you all right let's go fight the palatine because we'll have to do two wars with them a is non-existent uh let's declare for what's the highest value province here heidelberg i guess but i don't have a claim on that or actually i do yeah i do and let's call in just switzerland all right, well, Switzerland did literally nothing. Uh, let me take these three provinces. Boom, there we go. We are going to have to fight them later, but it's cool, baby. It's cool. So let me uh, core this up and uh, let me go beat these up. Huh, I got Franconian separatists here. I guess you can make Franconia exist before someone forms it. Either way, let's not get too bogged down with that. And let's go and declare on Brandenburg. Now, hmm, who are they allied to? It doesn't matter, but I will call in everyone so we can crush them. I might split it with Poland. We'll see, though. I just need pretty much much yeah i might go up until here and give this to poland or something like that so let's do it baby oh goslar is walking right into me and that's brandenburg beaten up so yeah i will transfer this over here to poland i might give it to them either way no way i'm taking this stuff in this first war and let's see what we can do here maybe i can take stuff like this oof that is whoa that's way too much a this is where it's gonna start getting spicy boys so yeah poland actually doesn't want this stuff and maybe i can make them release rupin yeah there we go can they return course to someone Uckermark to Stetten. there we go a little more dismantling and uh yeah yeah. I won't be taking Berlin now. Realistically, what I think is going to happen here is Bohemia is going to declare on them, and then I'll have to fight an even bigger Bohemia. But it's just unavoidable right now, at least, I think. So yeah, man, I won't take anything else from them, so I have a truce as short as possible, and that's our first war with Brandenburg done. Now I can officially end my alliance with Saxony too, because I'll need to fight them, and I will start spying on Bohemia and Saxony. Like I said, this is where it's going to get spicy. I just helped Austria PU Hungary. All right, boys, with the Austro-Hungarian reunification war out of 
of the way, here's what I'm thinking. Now, Muscovy is fighting the Kalmar Union right now. So why not simply declare in Bohemia to pop out about four nations from them, or at least as much as I can. War score will probably be a lot. So let's declare for a conquest right here, call in all of my boys right here, and uh, let's dismantle Bohemia slowly. And then I'll push into Saxony and take over the rest of Bohemia that'll be left after I make them pop out a few nations over here. Unfortunately, in the meantime, Saxony's annexed Thuringia. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, wait, and they've allied Poland, too. Well, that's not good. Oh, I can't do it right. I am gonna have to make Poland end their alliance with uh, Saxony here. These fools, they got trapped in Goatland. <laughs> And I just kicked out Muscovy as well, farming some nice war reps from them. And let's see what we can do here with Bohemia. So like I said, we're going to make them release, guys. All right, let's make them pop out Moravia. Uh, these two guys right here, Opole, Glogau. Eh, oh, just for a little bit, man. I can't make them end their alliance with... I can't make them release Lusatia. But I can make them uh, end their alliance with Muscovy. So that's what I am going to do. Boom. And there we go, now Bohemia has shrunk by quite a bit. And uh, I think we can push into Saxony now. Poland still wouldn't defend them. But you know, just to be sure, man. Just to be sure that they won't intervene in the middle of that war. I am gonna make them uh, break their alliance with Saxony. Boom, there we go. And now I'll simply declare on Saxony straight up to take some stuff. And boom, there we go. We can't let them grow too big, right? Again? This war again? All right, Saxony is down and out. So let's make them... Uh, I want to make them release Thuringia and Magdeburg, the nations that they just conquered. And let's see. Oh, yes, we can make them stop existing in one simple war. And we will do that. I don't have enough war score to take that much money, but I will take as much as I can. Boom, there we go. I didn't check aggressive expansion. Ooh. Okay. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh, get knowledge share with the Ottomans. Give me that cash money, baby. Yeah. By the way, this is what we're doing right now. Just chilling. A slight coalition has formed out of OPM is really not a big deal. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to chill for a few more years. And then I think I'm going to finish off Brandenburg by feeding most of it to Stettin. And just as quick as that coalition formed, it's pretty much disbanded. It's only Verdun and Lubeck left. So let's go and finish off Brandenburg right here. The only nation I'm going to call in is Stettin. Oh wait, this might not be a good idea because uh, Austria is going to ask Stettin to give this stuff back. So I'm actually going to call in Poland and uh, now I'm going to transfer all of this to Poland because Poland wants it as well and they probably won't give it back to Austria. And let's see right here. Boom, boom, boom. Poland will take everything and I'll take Berlin for myself. Once again, a risk of a coalition, but it doesn't really exist. And boom, there we go. Brandenburg is down and out. So... Out of all the original electors, boys, it's just Bohemia left. And we still have a truce with them. Let's see, their province war score cost is 133. So yeah, man, I think in one war, we're gonna make them pop Lusatia out, and I'm gonna take these right here, and then in the next war, I might just feed half of it to Austria and take Prague for myself. And this challenge will be complete. Uh, I am suffering on manpower a bit right now. I did just slacken twice and I'm already down like another 9k. So um, it's time to chill a bit. All right, third idea group time. Uh, there really isn't anything that can help us out a whole lot here. Maybe quantity. <laughs> By the way, I'm just helping out uh, Stettin in this war. Should we build the Cone Cathedral? Yes, because I don't have anything else to do with my money. All right, boys, truce with Bohemia is up. So let's go dismantle them some more and take some stuff from them as well. I'm going to call in everyone. I know it's over kill at this point but oh no they've re-allied muscovy again dude i checked like a year ago they weren't allied hmm is austria gonna help me austria is not gonna help me uh that kind of sucks i guess they don't hate bohemia anymore but it's fine let's just call in the commonwealth the pope of friesland and holland we should be able to do this, right? And with Muscovy out of the way and that alliance annulled once again, let's take a look at what we can do versus Bohemia here. So let's make them release Lusatia. And I'm gonna take this right here. Oh, I don't like that, man. I thought Austria would join so I could feed them some stuff as well. But I literally don't have anyone to feed stuff to. Maybe the Commonwealth would want some stuff over here. Hmm, I can't risk it. And yeah, we just need another war with Bohemia here, boys. So time to chill for a pretty long time. This is what the Protestant Reformation is looking like right now, by the way. Time to dev our gold mine over here a little bit. <laughs> well, there you go. Apparently it's devved up. <laughs> Should we become the defender of the Catholic faith? <laughs> I think it would be pretty funny. Should we build the Brandenburg Gate? I think we should. Everywhere we go, we make everything better. I'm actually gonna ally Moravia and give them half of Bohemia. The Council of Trent has fired. Let's support conciliatory measures because that has uh, improved relations. Look at this France, man. 100k troops. <laughs> I wonder how many the Ottomans have. 117. 
pretty close. And boys, or choose with Bohemia. It's up, man. So let's declare for Prague. Yes, call in everyone. Ah, yeah, that's that. Allies have been pieced out. Now listen, I was gonna give half of this to Moravia, but that would just be boring, wouldn't it? Why not? We'll annex Bohemia and let's get 115 aggressive expansion. Ah, uh, sometimes I wonder why I do things. Okay, now the goal is survive until we core these up. <laughs> uh, we have become one of the great powers. Impressive. Dude, we literally have the entire HRE in a coalition against us. <laughs> Help me. And there you go. We cored up every province that we needed to. And this coalition consisting of more than 40 something nations hasn't declared on us. But listen, boys, we can't let a good coalition like this go to waste. So let's declare on Venice right here with the humiliate rival CB and call in all of my boys. Boom. There we go. <laughs> now, uh, I'm gonna go and have a little vacation down in Greece because I asked for access through the Alamans. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Cleves, a one province miner in this tiny province over here. And as you guys know, the goal for today's challenge was to make every single nation that starts off in 1444 as an elector not exist. And obviously, if we go into the Holy Roman Empire interface here, we can see that none of the original seven nations are electors anymore and they don't even exist anymore because because I full annexed all of them or split them up or something like that. But overall, man, a super, super fun campaign. I haven't played as Cleves since when I did that achievement that I mentioned right at the start. Of course, it's super, super easy. You just got to annex one elector and still remain small enough for Austria to grant you the electorship. But this was a little different take with a little A to Z twist on that same challenge slash achievement. And as you can see, we've accomplished it and we can see our nation falling down and burning. But overall, a super, super stable campaign, man. We were making a ton of money the entirety of the campaign. I've been building a ton of buildings over here. At least every building that I can build, you know, marketplaces, production buildings, everything full stated, man. Well, except for this, let's full state Bohemia as well. Let's not let that go to waste. Autonomy reduced everywhere as much as possible. And we even have a massive, massive army right now. Lots of manpower. I've built two monuments, man. We were making money the entirety of the campaign. And honestly, I think without diplomatic ideas, this may not have been possible because we really relied heavily on our super super strong allies over here and we did get lucky that we were able to royal marry austria and then ally them right off the bat well apparently i'm at war with the ottomans now let's go siege constantinople but yeah there you go man i'm happy to say that this campaign as cleaves in a to z has been a success and that has been cleaves in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.